Examples of zooplankton. You may wish to review the DVD chapter on microscope usage before beginning the zooplankton lab. Notice the characteristic spiral swimming motion of this dinoflagellate. What structure is responsible for this movement? Radiolarians are identified by their long spines. Another distinctive unicellular organism is the tintinid. The larvae of coral and sea anemones has a characteristic form called the planula. When the planula finally settles out of the plankton and attaches to a hard substrate, tentacles develop from the top end and the polyp body will form. This is the medusa of a hydrozoan, a type of cnidarian. This is not a true jellyfish, because hydrozoan medusae, unlike true jellyfish, have a velum, a shelf of tissue, around the edge of their bell. Notice the large tentacles covered with nematocysts. Around the edge of the bell are small sensory organs used for balance. Notice how this flatworm crawls. The two pigmented spots detect light. This is the adult form of a marine flatworm.
There are many types of marine annelid larvae. Marine annelid worms all have bristles on each segment. These larvae grow by adding new body segments. Segmented worms have muscles encircling their bodies, as well as muscles that run the length of their bodies. When these muscles contract, how do they affect the worm's body shape? A larval form of snails and bivalves is called the villager. The villager swims by using cilia lining four lobes projecting from its tiny shell. Do you see its beating heart? Here is a later stage of the villager. This is most likely a clam or mussel. The most abundant planktonic animals are the copepods. These tiny herbivores consume diatoms. Notice their single compound eye and two jointed antennae. Calanoid copepods, like these, have long antennae. Another group, the cyclopoid copepods, have smaller antennae. In this side view, the copepods' bristly mouthparts are visible. You may have seen amphipods before on the beach. They're commonly called beach hoppers. However, there are some planktonic forms. Notice its beating appendages.
Notice it's speeding appendages. Ostracods are tiny arthropods housed between two shells. Podon is a type of crustacean called a cladocerin. The female podon has a large compound eye and a brood chamber holding her eggs. Do you see its beating heart? The sea urchin larva drifts into plankton for several months before developing into the benthic adult form. Internal skeletal rods made of calcium carbonate support the long arms. You might see a long, clear, tadpole-like creature. This is a type of chordate called a larvation. In nature, it surrounds its body with a bubble of mucus that it creates. Notice these bands of cilia. Here are several questions to help you review the previous information. Pause the video when the button appears. After answering a question, press play to move on to the next question.